Get ready to buckle up because 2024 is shaping up to be the ultimate roller coaster ride for Aizkai fans. Picture this, every titan of the genre stepping onto the stage, one after the other, making it the most epic year yet. From the thrilling Mashoku Tensei to the scorching hot Overlord movie premiering in the sizzling summer months, it's an Aizkai fiesta like no other. From the iconic quartet of Aizkai greatness to the sensational Sword Art Online, here's a sneak peek at 10 phenomenal Aizkai adventures making their grand return this year. Number 1. Mushoku Tensei – Jobless Reincarnation Spring kicks off with a bang as we dive into the much-anticipated second season of Mushoku Tensei, the Aizkai sensation that left us hanging after a riveting 12 episodes. Sure, it delved into some unexpected territory, like grappling with erectile dysfunction, but let's not forget the heartwarming reunion between Rubius and Silphite that tugged at our heartstrings. Yet, amidst all the emotional roller coaster rides, one thing stood out the proposal as Rudius asks Ariel for Silphie's hand in marriage, which she accepts and releases Silphie from her obligation to disguise herself as Fitz. Rudius's leap into the Ariel's faction promises a whole new dimension to his adventures. Could this mean a deeper dive into Azura politics? With Zenith still missing and the school arc in full swing, the possibilities are endless. As we brace ourselves for part two, speculation runs wild. If it covers the same number of volumes as the first part, we're in for a split-season treat, one half dedicated to Rudus' university escapades and the other half unleashing the adrenaline-pumping action we've been yearning for. No worries, no spoilers here. Trust me when I say all those moments of slice-of-life sweetness leading up to it will pay off big time. Sure, season one set a certain tone, but isn't it the twists and turns that keep us hooked on Mushoku Tensei? That ebb and flow, that constant evolution, is what makes the series so darn immersive. So, while it might feel like we're cruising along at a leisurely pace now, mark my words, the story's gearing up for something big. Whether it's a pivotal turning point or some other jaw-dropping revelation, you can bet your bottom dollar things will ramp up, especially as we near the latter part of season two, part two. So sit tight and enjoy the ride, it's about to get wild. Number 2. Kanesuba – God's Blessing on This Wonderful World April isn't just bringing back Mushoku Tensei, it's also unveiling the long-awaited third season of Kanesuba. It's been a hot minute since we last saw Kazuma and the gang grace our screens in 2017, followed by the epic movie in 2019 that wrapped up the Crimson Magic Clan arc with a bow. Sure, we had the spin-off focusing on Megumin's school days, but let's rewind back to where the movie left us hanging, right at the doorstep of the Crimson Village's conclusion. Now, as we eagerly await the next chapter, get ready for the Kazuma's little sister arc. No, not Kazuma's actual sibling or any blood relation for that matter, but a pint-sized princess who he starts treating like family. With mischief and mayhem guaranteed, it's time to dive back into the zany world of Kanosuba for another round of laughter and chaos. Oh, you bet Kazuma would relish the chance to live the high life. Get ready to witness his royal transformation as he takes on the role of a big brother figure in this upcoming season. But here's a fun tidbit about the production. While Studio Dean handled seasons one and two, this time around it's Studio Drive at the helm for season three. Fans of the spinoff from last year will be thrilled to know that much of the same talented staff are returning, ensuring a consistent level of quality and production. Plus, having the original director back in the mix who was instrumental in seasons one and two means we're in for a treat. So if you loved what you saw before, get ready for more of the same delightful chaos with a fresh coat of paint. Number three, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Next on the list is the masterpiece anime, that time I got reincarnated as a slime also known as Tensura. Tensura is gearing up for its epic third season and is hyping the showdown between Rimuru and Hinata. But here's the twist. Unlike its predecessors, this season will be an unprecedented marathon airing back to back from April straight through to September. That's right, no more splitting the action into two cores. We're getting a hopping minimum of 24 episodes straight. And let me tell you, the excitement doesn't stop there. As the story delves into the thrilling founding festival arc, prepare for a roller coaster ride of epic proportions. While the clash between Tempest and the Crusaders sets the stage for an explosive beginning, there's so much more in store. With the possibility of six to eight episodes dedicated to this epic showdown, brace yourselves for heart pounding action and jaw dropping twists every turn. But that's not all, get ready for a shift in tone as the arc progresses, with hints of a lighter atmosphere and the potential for an exhilarating tournament arc to spice things up even further. So strap in and hold on tight because season three is gearing up to be a wild roller coaster ride from start to finish. For the fans still pondering the significance of the movies Scarlet Bond and Visions of Coleus, let's clear the air. While both offer original tales crafted by the author, some might deem them as filler content. 
If you diligently follow the events of season two, fear not, you're in good shape for season three without needing to delve into the movie or the OVA. So, if you're itching to plunge into the latest escapades of Rimuru and the gang, breathe easy knowing that if you've kept pace with the series, you're in for an absolute delight with season three. Number four, Overlord movie. As we transition into the sizzling summer season, all eyes are on the highly anticipated Overlord movie release. While we know for certain it's slated for 2024, the exact timing remains a tantalizing mystery. However, if we're playing the guessing game, I'd put my money on a summer debut. Why? Well, considering it's been about six months since the initial trailer dropped, and factoring in the typical timeline for anime movie releases, a summer premiere seems like a reasonable bet. Sure, other anime movies tend to draw closer to the end of the year, but with just the right amount of hopeful anticipation, who's to say we can't manifest it to hit the screens even earlier? So let's keep our fingers crossed and our hopes high as we eagerly await the grand spectacle of the Overlord movie. While the Overlord movie isn't a direct follow-up to season 4, it's not a standalone tale either. Instead, it's set right smack dab in the middle of the action, nestled snugly between volumes 10 and 14 of the light novel series. Season 4 kicks off with volume 10, delves into the epic saga with the dwarves and dragons in volume 11, then wraps things up with the kingdom's destruction in volume 14. Volumes 12 and 13, the missing puzzle pieces, are the heart of the movie's storyline. So while it might seem like a minor detail in the grand scheme of things, it's worth noting that whatever unfolds in the movie technically takes place before season 4 reaches its grand finale. Specifically, we're talking post-episode 7 cliffhanger territory, but before the curtain rises on episode 8. Absolutely. While they could tweak the storyline to fit after the kingdom's destruction, there's a beauty in maintaining the consistency of the original narrative. A saga spanning volumes 12 and 13 that stands as a masterpiece within the Overlord universe. Prepare to be whisked away on an extraordinary adventure unlike any other, as we venture into uncharted territory, a brand new nation ripe with intrigue and teeming with new characters. But that's not all. Brace yourselves for the return of Demiurge, now bearing the title of the Demon Emperor. I won't spoil the surprises, but believe me when I say this arc has earned its rightful place as a fan favorite. With the introduction of beloved new characters, it's shaping up to be an absolute blockbuster. And with the promise of the highest budget treatment, get ready for some serious flexing as Nazarick asserts its dominance on the big screen. It's going to be an exhilarating ride, no doubt about it. Number 5. Tower of God Tower of God may not fit the traditional Ice Kai mold, but its captivating world is certainly worth a mention. Tower of God revolves around a boy named 25th Bam. Notably, in Korean, Bam can mean knight or chestnut. He has spent the majority of his life confined beneath a colossal and enigmatic tower, with only his dear friend Rachel for companionship. Bam is devastated when Rachel enters the tower without him. Yet somehow, he manages to open the tower's door. Determined to reunite with Rachel, he embarks on a journey willing to go to any lengths, even risking death. Along the way, he encounters allies who aid him in his ascent through the tower. With his second season slated for this summer, get ready to embark on an even grander adventure. Last season introduced us to a world unlike any other, but season two is set to blow the lid off, expanding the scope of the tower like never before. No longer confined to just one floor, we'll journey through multiple levels, each brimming with new challenges and mysteries. It's a relentless climb, with tests growing ever tougher with each step. Six years have passed since Bam's fateful fall, and now he's back, climbing the tower under a new guise. As he navigates the treacherous floors solo, having already conquered many challenges, it's the perfect setup for an epic continuation. Bam's journey takes an intriguing turn as he joins forces with a fresh lineup of characters, marking the debut of this season's new cast. While his former teammates may make a comeback down the line, for now the spotlight shines on these newcomers. Among them, whispers abound about one individual speculated to be none other than the Prince of Zahard himself. And thus, a stage is set for the aptly titled Return of the Prince Arc. While Tower of God may not neatly fit into the Ice Kai genre, its sprawling floors each unfold as worlds unto themselves, blurring the lines between realms. With every level brimming with unique challenges and inhabitants, it's no wonder Tower of God feels like embarking on a journey into entirely new worlds, so gear up for an exhilarating ascent as Tower of God Season 2 takes us to dizzying new heights where every step promises thrilling surprises and breathtaking vistas. Number 6. Yojur Senki Speculation can be half the fun, right? Let's dive into the realm of possibilities with these upcoming Ice Kai releases. First up, we've got Yojur Senki Season 2. While the announcement was a good while back in 2021, fear not. Word from the author confirms that production is still chumming along. 
With the director now free from their duties, it's a safe bet they'll be turning their attention back to Yojo Senki. Season 1 has been badass. Season 1's story began in June of the year C, 1923. A young girl with blonde hair and blue eyes, Tanya Degurachev, had enrolled in the final curriculum of the Imperial Military Academy. She was undergoing training at the 3rd Patrol Line in the Northern Military District, known as the Northern Theater, as part of her service to the force. Her training, the initial stride toward a promising career as an aviation mage, was expected to proceed smoothly, but fate had other plans and what followed left our heads blown insane is what we expect from Season 2. As of August 30th, 2023, the return of Tanya and her military exploits is still on the cards. Now, as for what to expect, well, brace yourselves for plenty of intense military conflict, that's par for the course. But I've got a hunch we'll be delving into the ongoing battle on the Eastern Front from Volume 5, along with some intriguing explorations of the rise of nationalism. With Tanya at the helm, you can bet things are about to get explosive. Tanya's confrontations with Mary Sue promised to add a thrilling layer of complexity to her already formidable challenges. With Mary Sue throwing a wrench into Tanya's plans, it's a battle of wits and strategy like no other. How will Tanya navigate these obstacles with her trademark cunning and tactical brilliance? The anticipation is palpable, especially considering the three-year wait we've endured. But fear not, patience often rewards us with the sweetest fruits. So let's keep our fingers crossed and our hopes high for Yojo Senki Season 2 to grace our screens sooner rather than later. After all, the best things come to those who wait, right? Get ready for a thrilling ride as Tanya navigates through the complexities of war and strategy, and let's brace ourselves for the epic showdowns that lie ahead. Number 7. Re. Zero. Next, we have the famous Re. Zero on the list. Yes, get ready to dive back into the twisted world of Re. Zero, because season 3 might just be on the horizon. Now, I won't supercoat it. It's a bit of a stretch to expect it in 2024. But hey, don't lose hope just yet. Here's the lowdown. Stubia White Fox, the masterminds behind seasons 1 and 2, are currently knee-deep in their latest creation, Sengoku Yoko, set to wrap up in August. And let me tell you, they're going full throttle, dropping a new episode every single week. Now, I'm certainly no industry insider, but let's use a little common sense here. Tackling back-to-back -back anime projects, that's like trying to juggle flaming swords while riding a unicycle, it's impressive, but also a bit insane. So while we're crossing our fingers for ReZero Season 3, let's give the folks at White Fox some breathing room. After all, good things come to those who wait, right? Mark your calendars, folks, because March 24th is the day you will be getting more information. Anime Japan is coming in hot, and you better believe ReZero fans are on the edge of their seats. Now, normally, I dive headfirst into speculations about what juicy details we might uncover. But hold on to your hats, because when it comes to a series as mind-bending as ReZero, it's best not to poke the bear if you catch my drift. We're talking about a reverse iska that's flipped the genre on its head, so who knows what twists and turns await us? So let's sit tight, keep our eyes peeled, and brace ourselves for whatever mind-blowing revelations Anime Japan has in store for the ReZero faithful. Number 8. Fate Slash Strange Fake Fate Slash Strange Fake is back with another season, and it is going to be epic. The story thus far centered around a Grail War imperfectly replicated from the Third Holy Grail War in Fuyuki. Following the conclusion of the Third Grail War, an independent organization based in the United States, comprised of Magi distinct from the London-based Mage Association, acquired data from Fuyuki's Grail War and devised their own ritual. After 70 years of preparation, they designated the city of Snowfield as the sacred land for their unique Grail War. However, their attempt to replicate the ritual fell short, resulting in an imitation lacking the Saber class and permitting the summoning of peculiar servants due to the blurred definition of a hero. What happened next is what you have already watched in Season 1, and if you haven't, I would recommend you give it a go. Now, Fate fans, Fate slash Strange Fake is gearing up to take the franchise to uncharted territory. Back in July, we got a tantalizing taste of what's to come with the one-hour special Whispers of the Dawn. But guess what? The real deal, the full version, is set to drop later this year, and let me tell you, it's going to be an epic ride. It's going to be a whole new ball game. This isn't your run-of-the-mill Fate timeline. It's a whole new universe, just like Apocrypha or Fate slash Grand Order. But fear not, because while the setting may be fresh, the universe remains as rich and intricate as ever. You'll spot some familiar faces like Gildamish and Enkidu, but buckle up, because there's a slew of new characters waiting in the wings. And let me tell you, not all of them fit the typical hero mold. So get ready to dive headfirst into the chaos and intrigue of Fate slash Strange Fake. It's going to be a wild ride. Number 9. Sword Art Online Next is one of my personal favorites, Sword Art Online, an absolute classic. 
But wait, it gets even better. The alternative universe is making a triumphant return. The story thus far revolved around Kirito, a skilled young beta tester and his companions, who found themselves ensnared along with 10,000 others in an advanced virtual reality MNORPG. Within this immersive game brimming with swordplay, mythical creatures, and enigmatic challenges, survival hinged on every move. Together, Kirito and a diverse array of allies navigated the treacherous landscape of sword art online, forging paths and carving out existences amidst the perilous beauty of this fantastical realm. After a five-year hiatus since the first season graced our screens in 2018, the announcement of season two just six months ago sent ripples of excitement through the fandom. Fingers crossed, we might just get to bask in its glory by the year's end, though nothing set in stone given the unpredictability of anime release schedules. Remember how they surprised us with Devil as a part-timer? Anything's possible. But hey, I wouldn't be shocked if we're treated to this gem as early as the summer. Now let's talk about what's in store. Get ready for another adrenaline-pumping tournament-style battle royale. But hold on to your hats. Because this time around, things are about to take a deliciously different turn. It will show the same adrenaline-fueled run-and-gun gameplay it's famous for. But this time around, there's a twist. New game rules and a whole lot of balance issues thrown into the mix. It's a high-stakes showdown where every shot counts and players must navigate the virtual battlefield with precision and skill. It's shaping up to be an electrifying season that will leave us on the edge of our seats. Count me in. Number 10. The World's Finest Assassin Last, we have The World's Finest Assassin. It may not be a sequel, but let me tell you, it's a wild ride all on its own. This gem from the creator of another popular anime has captured hearts with its thrilling power fantasy and surprisingly well-paced storyline. During season one, the tale followed the life of an elderly man renowned as the world's foremost assassin. As age caught up with him, retirement seemed imminent. Yet fate took a twisted turn when the plane he boarded was sabotaged, defying even his legendary prowess. Upon his demise, he was unexpectedly summoned by a goddess. She sought to reincarnate him in a realm of swords and sorcery, desperate for his lethal expertise to thwart the impending doom wrought by the hero. Embracing this divine mission, our protagonist emerged anew as Lu Tuatha Dei, vowing to seize every moment and utilize his unparalleled skills to safeguard the world. With the entire first season dedicated to just one volume of the novel, you know they're taking their time to do it justice. And guess what? Season 2 promises even more excitement as it delves into the Lu's Academy arc. Our protagonist navigating the ins and outs of school life encountering unexpected faces along the way. I won't spoil the surprises, but let's just say if you're itching to see Love flex his skills in an academy setting, season two is going to deliver some epic moments that will leave you craving for more. With that, it concludes our today's lineup. 10 Fantastic Ice K making their return in 2024 to dream come true for fans everywhere. With heavy hitters like ReZero, Mushoku Tensei, Slime, and Overlord leading the charge, it's already shaping up to be a legendary year for the genre. And let's not forget the icing on the cake, a slew of other captivating titles adding to the excitement. It's not every day we're treated to such a powerhouse lineup all airing back-to-back -back like this. If 2024 delivers on its promises, mark my words, it'll go down in history as the ultimate year for Aizkai enthusiasts. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you never miss out on our latest updates and recommendations. If you enjoyed this video, show us some love by smashing that like button and leaving a comment down below. We love hearing from you and your feedback helps us improve our content. Plus, if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see in our next video, drop them in the comments section. We're always on the lookout for new ideas. Thanks again for watching and until next time, happy binge watching. Thanks for joining me on this anime adventure. And if you're craving more content like this, you know what to do. Until next time.